Welcome to Fox TV News, where everything is true. Your Castle High School to approach Cuban and Japanese embassies to source volunteer teachers amid shortage. At least one Jamaican school will be looking to the Cuban and Japanese embassies to source volunteer teachers for some subject areas for the new school term. This amidst a shortage of teachers for several subject areas. Dozens of Jamaican teachers have been taking up jobs overseas, and local teachers' colleges are reportedly not producing enough teachers to fill the gaps. Speaking with reporters, principal of the Yakesa High School in St. Anne, Raymond Treasure, said principal have been reaching out to various groups in an effort to fill posts come September. Some of us have been reaching out um, to like the Cuban embassy, the Japanese embassy, to bring in volunteers to assist in those areas, the TVET areas. Um, for those of us who offer like motor vehicle maintenance, we have not been able to identify teachers, so we may have to approach the Japanese volunteer um, association with the understanding that we we will have to bring in teachers from overseas or volunteers from overseas to help out in these areas. It is my hope that we'll be able to partner with some of these teachers' colleges to train more teachers so that we have a larger pool of teachers out there. Um, a lot of the teachers' colleges are actually saying that they don't have enough students enrolling. Maybe if we can get the students to start their education degrees in high schools, the same two plus two arrangement, we'll have a larger pool so that we can deal with this crisis. Police say four vehicle crash along Dyke Road in Portmore was caused by one of the vehicles overtaking Arona Corner. Head of the Police Public Safety and Traffic Enforcement Branch, Senior Superintendent Gary McKenzie, says last evening four vehicle crash along Dyke Road in Portmore, St. Catherine, was as a result of one of the vehicles overtaking at a corner. Four people were hospitalized following the incident. They are in stable condition. Speaking with reporters, SSP McKenzie said the accident occurred at around 6.50 p.m. when a Honda Civic motor car overtook another vehicle at a corner. A Honda Civic motor car and a Subaru motor car, they were traveling towards the toll booth so that it suddenly along the dike road. And what appeared to have happened is that the Honda motor car went to the right of the road, possibly overtaking the Subaru, and then swerved back in. It would appear that the, the driver of the Honda came in too early, and so there was contact between both vehicles. As a result of that, the Honda motor car spun out of control and collided with a Toyota Voxy and a Kia motor car that was traveling in the opposite direction that is going towards Spanish Town. At this particular section of the road, there is a curve, and so persons are not advised to overtake where there is a curve. As a matter of fact, on the approach of that area, there is a continuous white line. And so what the continuous white line means that no one should breach it, meaning that they should stay in their line. And there is a reason why it was placed there. It is because the sighting that one would have, they would not have it, meaning that the distance to allow a person to go to the right of the road, pass the vehicle that they intend to overtake, and get back to the left of the road, the sight that they would have, it would really be too small. And so if we overtake in such a manner, by the time you are to get back in line, because there's a corner ahead, a vehicle can approach in the opposite direction before you go back to the left, and that will cause a collision, as what appears to be the case of the crash yesterday. Thousand frustrated at no court date for a client, Noel Maitland. Lawyers representing Constable Noel Maitland, who have been charged with the murder of Donnelly Donaldson, have expressed frustration at the delay by investigators to have him brought before the court to answer to the charge. Constable Maitland was charged on August 2nd following an investigation by the Major Investigation Division. Attorney Christopher Towson told reporters that he is baffled by the delay in bringing his client before the court. There is no court date set for him to appear before the court and he has been charged for some time now. He has a constitutional right to appear before the court, Towson told reporters. Miss Donaldson, a social media personality, was reported missing on July 13, 
two days after she went to visit Constable Maitland at his St. Andrew apartment. The police believe she was murdered between 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. on July 12. Man killed by cops identified as Trigger Man in 2021 murder. A 35-year-old man who was killed in a police shootout in March was recently discovered to be the Trigger Man in a 2021 murder. Joel Cheese Foster was positively identified as the man who shot and killed Makeda Pops Thompson, 27, on March 25, 2021. Both men were from Canaan Heights in Clarendon. According to reports, about 8.30 p.m. in March 2021, residents heard loud explosions sounding like gunshots and summoned the police. Upon their arrival, Thompson's body was seen lying face down along Dada Boy Avenue in the community with what appeared to be gunshot wounds to the head and back. The scene was processed and the body was taken to the Maypen Hospital. Police said on Saturday, March 19, 2022, Foster was fatally shot after he engaged lawmen in a gunfire on Francis Avenue in the PSA housing scheme in Maypen, Clarendon. A firearm was retrieved in that incident. Police said a witness to Thompson's murder recently positively identified Foster as the killer. Cops probe $500,000 in items stolen from Clarendon House. The Clarendon police have launched an investigation after more than half a million dollars worth of furniture, appliance, clothing and food items were robbed from a house in Palmer's Cross in the parish. The robbery reportedly occurred between 7 a.m. last Wednesday, August 3rd, and 6 a.m. the following day. It was reported that members of the household security locked up the four-bedroom dwelling and left. Upon returning the next morning, it was discovered that the front grill to the house was fired and the front door forced open. Several items were also discovered missing. These included a black 55-inch smart TV valued at $90,000, a silver LG inverter refrigerator valued at $120,000, a gray city valued at $30,000, a wall fan valued at $7,000, a gray block point four burner stove valued at $50,000, a white cream queen size mattress valued at $90,000, a brand new 55 inch Samsung Smart TV valued at $120,000, assorted food items valued at $40,000, and assorted clothing items valued at $30,000. Following the discovery, the police were contacted and detectives visited and processed the scene. Clarendon Police Head urges church to stand up against crime. Commanding Officer for the Clarendon Police Senior Superintendent Glenford Miller has called for the church community to do more to help to fight against crime. A lot of persons have been shot. A lot of persons have been killed. We have a little boy who they take away and no one can find him. Serious things are happening. These are the things we need the church to rise up and look out against because we need a spiritual awakening in this country of ours, charged Miller. He was addressing the Longville Park Divisional Church Service at the Miracle Tabernacle Freetown Church of God of Prophecy on Sunday. Miller called for the church to pray for the police as he urged that the constable cannot survive without God. Stating that the time is now for the church to say enough is enough, he invited Christians to stand up and stamp out crime and criminals out of the society. As police officers, we can do nothing. As a matter of fact, we can't even solve crime if it is not for the Lord on our side. We need the support of the church to make not just Clarendon, but Jamaica a better place, he shared. Miller argued that fear is holding some persons back from joining in the fight against crime. You know the saying, we all want to go to heaven, but none of us want to die. None of us want to be the one, so as a result of that, we are see nothing, we hear nothing, and we do nothing, and we watch criminals flourish, he said. Referring to the Jamaica 60th celebrations, the senior policeman questioned if Jamaica is really independent or if citizens are really free. Freedom argued Miller is going home and not having to lock one's grill behind, which he asserted is a false sense of freedom. Freedom, he shared, will come when all persons are united in the fighting against crime and violence. Pray for us. We need it because it is not an easy road. It is rough and we cannot do it alone. We need your support church in this fight against crime and violence because whatever is wrong with Jamaica, we can fix it by what is right with Jamaica. And if we believe that we are the right persons for Jamaica, we can fix it. 28 new COVID-19 cases in Jamaica, no debt supported. The Minister of Health and Wellness supported 28 new COVID-19 cases on Monday, August 8th bring the infection total to 147,344. The new cases comprise 17 females and 11 males, with ages ranging 
from 14 years to 87 years. The cases are recorded in Kingston and St. Andrew 17, St. James 6, St. Catherine 4, and St. Elizabeth 1. No deaths were reported for the period. There were 95 recoveries in the last 24 hours, bringing the total to 94,623. Currently, 121 people are hospitalized, 28 of whom are moderately ill, 5 severely ill, and 7 critically ill. Jamaica's positivity rate for the latest round of testing is 14%. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and click the notification.